Today we are outside in the breezy summer, it's not summer, it's May, in the breezy warm airs of May. Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I am sat outside. There's people that can clearly see me talking to myself at the moment. You saw the title and the thumbnail correctly. Would you like to shut up so I can talk to myself? So you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. No, it's not clickbait. I mean, the thumbnail's a little bit because I just got a stock photo of a house for the thumbnail. I am, in fact, painting the outside of a house. Shush. I'm excited because I have had permission to do this. Um, technically, not legally. This house is actually on a HOA, which is a homeowners association, which basically means any time you want to do anything, anywhere, anytime, you have to get permission. That's how they keep the houses nice in the neighborhood. As a result, me asking a homeowners association, hey, can I actually like paint a giant purple mural on the outside of this, this house? They would say no. So my way around this is, this is the back of the house. I'm gonna be painting on some pillars and inside parts of the house that aren't actually gonna be seen by a road by anyone unless they're actually coming to this area of the house. So I'm not gonna be doing anything obtrusive for anyone else to see. So you can see that parts of the pillar actually need painting and bits removing. There's been some renovation work out here recently and these pillars are gonna be need to be like restuccoed and repainted. So I've got a canvas sheet instead of a plastic one for two reasons. One, it's better for the environment and it's reusable. And secondly, it's not gonna be blowing around if it gets windy out here. I did get a quart size of the main color that I plan to use in this mural. I'm gonna be rollering a lot of it on and then I'm gonna be hand painting all of the details. Now, what am I gonna be making? This is the fun part. So basically, there is a bathroom in Magic Kingdom that is themed to be tangled. But on the outside of the bathroom is this gorgeous purple mural that is supposed to kind of be painted by Rapunzel herself. Obviously Rapunzel is an artist and I find myself most relating to her out of all of the Disney princesses because she is an artist. She's a bit like, woo. She likes to paint murals. So basically I took a picture of the area I'm going to be painting. It's kind of hard because it is somewhat 3D and not completely flat, but I sketched out on my iPad somewhat of the design that I wanted to do. Now I'm not going to be prepping this properly. And the reason I'm saying this is because I know I'm going to get some critique saying, oh, you're not putting sandpaper down. You're not priming it. This is not meant to be long lasting though. This pillar has an old seal on it from a frame that was removed and it needs to be restuccoed with texture and paint. Plus if the HOA ever catch this, I'll be in trouble. So yeah, this is not permanent. This was for fun and for just practice and also a video. So I started off by putting down that base layer. Now, while the tangled mural is the main idea behind this, I'm honestly gonna be just winging a lot of the designs of this with my own patterns and things I've been doing behind the scenes lately. So I was really careful with the paints and I put the canvas sheet down to not make a mess on the patio. And- Oh no, I, oh my God, I stood in it. Oh no, I stood in it. <gasps> How did I do that? I think, mm, I don't know how to, I don't know what to do. But don't worry, I, it's okay, I have a hose pipe. Which apparently made it worse. But don't worry, it's all up from here. Or not. By the way, you may have noticed at the start of the video, I said that it was not summer, it was May. I actually did start filming this back in May. The trouble is it is so incredibly hot that I'm not really able to paint for really long extended periods of time. I'm lucky if I'm able to paint for 30 minutes to an hour at a time because my camera starts overheating, my paint starts drying out and my face starts melting completely off of my face. So it's taking me a while around the heat, around rain. But here we are, we're finally painting it and finishing it. Now the mural at Disney is 
gorgeous. It's very, very painterly, but that's the way it's supposed to be because Rapunzel was supposed to have painted it herself on a wall. And this was different for me and fun because I am a perfectionist and painting something on a really heavily textured surface means that you can't get very smooth lines. I was able to with my Artistic Bear Co paintbrushes, which I'm gonna mention because they're on sale at the moment. This is my paintbrush line. But yeah, even with those paintbrushes, that was my best bet at getting them smooth. But even so, on a textured surface, it's kind of impossible. He just kept trying to eat the paint, so apparently here I had to push him away. These cheap brushes suck. Apparently I sat in paint, so that was great. And there is Sarah Renee Clark over there FaceTiming me briefly. <laughs> And I know a lot of you will be asking why I didn't paint this part of the wall. The simple answer is, honestly, this part faces an area that the road can potentially see. Granted, the road is like 200 feet away, but it is bright purple, so... But just in case it would be really visible, I really don't want the HOA to threaten to repossess my paints, so I just left it. I will admit, I was really not loving this after staring at it for a couple of weeks and not really working on it as much as I wanted to. Then I remembered I was missing a huge part of this mural. The suns, the most iconic thing that I was missing, completely forgetting to add them. So I spent the day on and off, face still sweating off, painting these tiny, messy, tangled suns. And again, there's no rhyme or reason here. I just plopped the suns on wherever they needed plopping on. Also, excuse the hat, I was trying to hide my sweaty, just woken up 30 minutes ago face. It didn't work. When these dried, I went back in with orange around the edges of the suns to really kind of brighten them up. I also added a bit of highlight as well to the suns with the light purple, and I think that really, really helped bring them out. Some of the suns came out a little bit, uh, a little extra messy. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I do not have a ladder. I used my chair, but I couldn't reach any higher than this. So there is a part of the top that I couldn't fully reach for this video. But if you would like to see a part two where I paint more or something else on the top or on the other pillar, because there's actually two other pillars, feel free to leave a comment and like the video below. I decided it was time to call it a day and enough talking, here is the official finished piece.
So thank you so much for watching today's video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun doing this. And again, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see me do on a different pillar, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But yes, for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.